do st stupid things when you're rushing to get prep done. You've got to be careful. You need to plan ahead. Plan ahead. G'day everyone, welcome to Life on the Hulls. Uh, last week we installed the sole on our starboard forward uh, stateroom and, and what a great stage that is. It actually means that I no longer have to climb down into the bilge and it gives me the opportunity to start installing some wardrobe petitions, etc. And, uh, and it really helps me move forward with the bulkhead. So that's where this episode is going to go straight into. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like it, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, and let's get into it. There's plenty to come. All right, floor is now glued down. I've got to remove all the screws that are holding it in place, take off the peel ply, and I just realized I've got to sand this all so I can glass in the bulkheads. Um, the issue with that is I drew my hatch on there, so I'm gonna to have to try to remove the peel ply except for where I've drawn the hatch that I need to, uh, to cut out. So you just do stupid things when you're rushing to get prep done. You gotta be careful, you need to plan ahead. Plan ahead. Yeah, so I drew this on yesterday on the peel ply, thinking that'll be good. <laughs> Guess what? Um, I've got to rip the peel ply off because I can't tab this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut around it. Yeah, anyone that's done any laminating can attest to the uh, cathartic nature of removing peel ply. It's without a doubt one of the most pleasing things you can do. I know you guys might get a bit sick of watching me peel it off, but the instant you peel it off, you realise how good your work is underneath. It's uh, quite astonishing to see how, how flat and level uh, you can actually make a fiberglass laminate and resin um, just by using peel ply. Honestly, although it was designed for the use of vacuum bagging, it certainly has its use in wet laminating where you can get an almost perfectly faired surface uh, almost ready for paint. So that's why we use the peel ply. It's an expensive uh, material to use and can't be reused, but ultimately it does give you a superior finish every time. Like brand new. First job off the rank this morning, I've removed the bulkhead that I set in place just to hold the floor down with some weights and some screws, and now I'm going to uh, put in the uh, the filleting compound all around the edges so the complete um, gap. And I'm going to try to get the fillet in in one go. Uh, the other day I didn't quite have enough resin mixed up. I'm going to basically just make sure I get the fillet done correctly the first time so that I can rip off the peel ply and instantly tab this floor into place, get onto the bulkheads. Pretty happy to get this part of the job done and I'm really happy to report that there's no squeaks on my floor. So pretty happy about that because I've been on so many boats where the floors are squeaking and it's one of those things that will drive you absolutely nuts. This way you do it once and done. Yeah, that's right. Now I've got quite a bit of work to do down in here. Well, I've got to fill it in this bulkhead um, all the way down in here. It's not quite sitting down as far as I need it to yet. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually prepare all this surface here. I've just got to lift it up for a moment just to, to, uh, to get a good fit with the cleats that I'm putting in place. But at least I'm going to basically have to sand this complete unit here all the way along here and prepare it and then run a fillet. I'm gonna put this one in first and then at a later time, I'm gonna put this one in because this one, that one is dependent on this one being in exactly the right position. If I can get this one in, get a tab in, then I'll have the right position for this one here. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of fiddling around to do here. I still have to drop this around about a centimeter to get it to mate down in here, but uh, yeah, lots of work coming up. We haven't quite worked this out yet, but we think that module needs to just drop at the bottom, so I'm going to have to trim the bulkhead, and I did have some issues fitting that before. So, Johnny, if you can strap it there, hold it, we've got to look straight up. Right. Onto the floor. That's it. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. I haven't seen it in there for a 
wall. Now this head uh, module did need some modifications and I'm going to let it run on for a little bit and just so you can experience the dialogue that goes on between John and I. It gets quite funny. Uh, often there's a few injuries and uh, you know a couple of things happen during the course of these sessions that, uh, that you know, can be quite funny and it's a bit hard to edit so I'm going to let it run on and, uh, and hopefully you enjoy it and you can see the sort of process with all the mods that I've had to do to, to get this thing to fit. So we've trimmed the uh, pipe which we feel might have been stopping it from dropping and a little bit of the bulkhead. So we'll give it another crack on. Don't lift it. Oh, okay. Get that nose over the end. Is it over? Yep. Shit. Oh, shit. Don't no, go to it. You have only foot. Yeah, that's yeah, all right. Get your foot out. I don't want to have the... No, you're just going to go over the edge. Just slide over the edge. Fire it first. Jesus, I think. That didn't make any difference. It didn't, bro. No, look up here, it didn't either. And your, your line is still there. Well, you're going down a bit. No, I need to take a bit off the bulkhead. So I need to drop this little bit. Oh, no, 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 it's easy here for me. Right. That's it. Just slide. Yeah. You're scratching your wall. Oh, man. we need to cut this flange off here to allow the deck to come down and the hole to come up and the flange of the bulkhead to or the module to actually meet here like this on the side here and then the deck's going to come down and then we glass underneath as well so we've still got a, a join along here but I'm going to cut this off along this black line here and uh, we'll see how that goes. See when you push back, will you move the doors then? I can't, I can't go, I can't go, I want to go down. No, no, what I mean is you pushing on that like that, you don't really want to do that, do no, you? No, no, I want to set where it is. Yeah. The flange, check the flange first. What does that look like? Much the same. It's actually rising with it. So we've had a couple of little modifications. I've worked out that this bit of foam needs to go. Um, it might mean that I've got to uh, bolster the bulkhead a little bit, but at this stage I'm just cutting it because we need to get this floor trim straight and square along here. Bit of a bastard to cut out right here, but again, the modifications continue. Straight. So we've cut a big slither out of that bit of chamfer there, that bit of uh, foam core, and uh, the bulkhead's going to nestle right in there and be tabbed actually into all that structure there so they're going to be pretty strong probably stronger than it was before probably didn't quite cut enough off when i originally did it but i think we're pretty good now don't you reckon johnny easy <laughs> everything's easy on the mole <laughs> I mean, on the hole. i'll tell you what it's been like a rugby match here this Savo. oh it's been a full afternoon hasn't it mate very big <laughs> all right i whack that against that yeah it's got to come out so that's going to allow for packing in between the module um, and the module actually could probably pull forward from the top, John. Uh, uh, move forward? Yeah, if you go... But then front... you'd have to pack the back. Yeah, well, that's okay. Well, I can't mean the back back. If I get that bulkhead in dead square, then I can 
possibly move the module forward. Pretty precise, isn't it? Oh, that looks wonderful. You're not even gonna notice that when I put that tabby. All right, so I'm gonna fill up this bulkhead in. I've, uh, I've covered all of this area with packing tape so that it's not gonna stick in place. I really don't wanna get it caught in place. Right down in the bottom of the module there as well. Very important because if it gets stuck, I'm in trouble. I can't, won't ever be able to get it out and I don't wanna leave it in just yet, so. Screw it again after you've done that yeah, nicely. Yeah, move it, won't it? Yeah. Um, just passes that bit of foam, yeah. A bit of foam with the laminate on it. Yeah, you can hold it while you're yeah. screwing it. Actually, can you just come here? Yes, I can. Watch, watch that trip over and all that shit. Keep going. Don't kick the cat. Just hold that like that. Hold it right. No, see, I bring the top out to soup off. Yeah. Just drive that in. No, drive it in a bit further. Huh? Take it down here a bit. Keep going. That's it, that's it, right there. Right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I've got it. Right. You want to push it on it? Well, don't push in because you're... Okay, that's it. Okay, leave it there. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this away. Now check it. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Okay, all right. You sure? We put it in the line. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, that's good, actually. Really like that, mate. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. We got it in. Spot on, Johnny. Look at that, mate. Solid as a rock. Great. I like to see it. Get the fillet in place. Just gonna tidy up a bit, add a bit more substantial fillet, get some peel fly. Don't you love the progress? I love this progress. Right, so we've got the forward starboard bulkhead in. That's now filleted and I've just peel plied it because what I'm going to be able to do once I come back, I'm going to be able to tab all the floor and that bulkhead in. So I'm going to put this one in. This is the midsection bulkhead. Now it's actually part of the main bulkhead. It comes across this companionway here and then dog legs back to the main bulkhead. So there's two sections. There's a smaller section and then a larger section which continues on to form the mast bulkhead. So pretty important bulkhead this one. In fact, it means once I've got it all glassed in, I can get rid of my support strut, my one that's actually holding the sides in and uh, keeping that side in. Once I've got the two bulkheads in, that means I don't need that anymore forever, which is unreal news. So I'm gonna get in and sand this, uh, prepare this area, get it ready for filleting and, uh, and I can get this one in today. It gets bloody challenging trying to film this. I've got the camera wedged up in a little corner up there and this is the inside. So you're actually in the stern cabin back there um, filming through the doorway because sometimes I, I, I wonder whether you get sick of me looking up at you from down in the hull. So I'm trying to get some good angles, but you know, this is uh, one of those things. It's just a very complicated um, 
thing to film. You can't quite often get the angles you want, and I'm just relying on footage after footage after footage that uh, may be shot for some weird angles. But we're going to put this bulkhead in now. I've got the marks here. I need to position some of these cleats in place to ensure that it's not going to fall the other side because I can only really fill it at one side at a time to make sure that I'm getting um, a good bond on, on the reverse side and then I'm retrospectively coming to the other side once the other side's done. So as long as I get one side in, I'm fine. The problem is with all these modules in place, I don't want to be moving them because if I can't put them back in after I glass the bulkhead in, I'm in for tons and tons of restorative work on the modules themselves which I'm gonna to have to trim and adjust them anyway, but the reality is if I can get the bulkheads where they sit properly, I don't have to stuff around with the modules and, uh, and, and do as much work in the long run. But anyway, for now, I'm gonna place these where they need to be and, uh, and get them moving on the filleting of this bulkhead. Okay, so I've got my fillet in, uh, time to lift it in place. What I'll do is I've lift it in place and I've got a filleting curve tool that I made that basically gives me a perfect radius of peel plate. Job done. I've just got to make sure it's all square when I put it in place. That's going to add uh, a couple of additional cleats to hold it in place and then it's all done. So this guy's now in. Filleted, not tabbed yet, but in for good. And uh, yeah, pretty happy to see that. Thanks for joining me this week, guys. It's been a pretty big one. It was, a, it was an interesting couple of days, uh, especially with all the chit chat with Johnny and I. We tend to nut a lot of things out working together like that. And uh, I thought I'd just leave it run while we had our idle chit chat. And uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of punishment and uh, a lot of cuts and bruises after that little session. But uh, I'm sure you could see that on the video. But don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, and I'll see you next time on Life on the Holes. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.